on everyone? Welcome to another amazing tour. My name is Mandeep. Today we are going to tour this very modern contemporary home with absolutely exquisite finishes. Today we are in Richmond. This home features five bedrooms, six bathrooms, spans more than 3,555 square feet of interior living space, and sits on a 8,000 square foot lot. It's listed for 3.28 million. A very special thank you to Angela Chang of New Stream Realty. If you are thinking about selling or buying a home in Richmond, get in touch with Angela. I'll put her contact information in the description below. Before we go inside, I'm gonna talk about the key details on the outside of the home. So follow me. We got some landscaping right at the front, which separates the street from the property right here. And then over here, we have a gate. And on both sides of the gate, we got these two posts that have light fixtures on top. And then also in this one, we actually have the mail slot. And on this side, we have the key. So you just take out your mail right there and follow me down this way. So over here, we got some more landscaping right here. The front of the house is cladded with a natural stone, some hardy board, cedar soffits, and actual cedar planks as well. I like that a lot. So down this way, this path takes you to the garage and down that way takes you to the backyard. So let's actually go check out the garage area a little bit as well. So over here, we got some more landscaping. We got some Japanese maple trees. We got some nice big rocks here that really complement the landscaping. And down this way, we actually have an automatic gate, which allows your cars into this driveway area and into these, uh, which looks like a single car garage and a double car garage over on that side. I think that's amazing. So now let's go into the home and view this amazing home. Follow me. So at the front of the house, we got these two pillars that cantilever, a cantilevered roof sits on these two pillars right here. We got two gigantic doors as your front entrance doors, a light fixture up above. And above that, we have some cedar soffits. Follow me into this home. Welcome to the inside of this amazing home. As soon as you enter, you can tell that the builder placed a lot of attention into even small details. Details such as on the ground, we got this nice border around the tiles right here, over there and on this side as well. So on my left, we have the formal living room, which we're gonna check out first. So follow me into this area. Obviously you can, you can tell that there's a lot of light coming into this area because of these huge windows on the front over here. And gold has made a huge comeback in all homes, all brand new homes, some have some sort of gold uh, aspect in them. So over here, we have this gold light fixture up above. The staging has gold in it as well, and even the furniture as well. So on the back wall over here, we got a nice fireplace right here and a gypsum concrete fireplace around. On both sides of the, the fireplace, we have some nice wallpaper over here and on that side as well. And up above, we got two more light sconces right there. So we got this wood veneer finish on this backing, which is floor to ceiling. And then up above, we got a nice drop ceiling, pot lights, uh, built-in speakers and a design that we haven't actually seen before. There's a nice black uh, design in, in the uh, drop ceiling, which I think looks really nice. Okay, so now let's move on into the dining area. So once again, so much gold everywhere. Like over here, this design, ha sorry, this table has this geometric design at the bottom over here and a glass on top. I think it looks really nice. Um, a gold light fixture right here. And then over on this side, we got some room to display your art. And in the art, they've uh, chosen something that has a little bit of a gold element in it. I think that's really cool. On the front over here, we got some casement windows, allowing even more light to come in. So down this way, and once again, up above, we have a nice drop ceiling. We got some built-in speakers once again, and pot lights in there as well. So follow me down this way. Over here, we have the office and this is a nice big hallway as well so down this way we have the office and the office is separated by these two doors i like that they have this kind of like a textured look inside of the glass which kind of creates a little bit of privacy so i always appreciate an office because i have an office at home as well that's where i get all my work done and this is a really nice um, office they have a nice light fixture right here more light coming into this area because of these uh, casement window windows at the front 
And up above, we got drop ceiling all around with pot lights. And I, I really like this desk and the furniture, really complements this room. And so on the ground, we got some engineered hardwood and I like the tr uh, seamless transition between the tiles and the hardwood over here. So follow me down into this room right here. This is the uh, laundry room. So the laundry room technically is a C area where builders are not supposed to spend too much money because the return is not that high. But they've done an awesome job here. We got two side-by-side -side Samsung machines. And up above, you have some cabinetry right here. And there's no handles present, which makes it look very sleek. And another cool thing is, look at the reveal over here. This black splash is really thick. And it's all the way horizontal, all the way across. I think that looks really, really nice. We got a nice big sink right here. Some open shelving down below. And then... Um, a, a hanger, a place to place some clothes, I guess, up there as well. All right, so follow me down this way. And over here we have the powder room. And you can tell as soon as you walk into this room that it looks amazing. Excellent choice of the countertop right here, which they used as a backsplash as well. It looks amazing. I've never seen a countertop like this. Just so much going on in it. The video is probably not even gonna be able to pick, uh, pick it all up and justify it, it just looks amazing. So over here we have a raised sink, the faucet comes right out of the wall, we got some LED light below. I like this design all around the mirror over here and we got some crystal light fixtures in the wall over here, some wallpaper right here, and yeah, they've just done an excellent, excellent job in this room. So follow me down this way and then over here we have what is staged right now as a bedroom. And once again, front facing casement windows right here. And you could actually really use this room however you wanted to. They've staged it obviously as a bedroom. We got a closet right here. And then behind this door, we have a washroom right here. And a really nice uh, size washroom. We got a huge shower on this side, right? We got a hand shower right here. You just take that off, clean the shower and stuff. Nice shower cell right down below. And then over here, I like that the mirror is extended past the vanity. So they took it all the way up to here. Nice design this way as well. And uh, yeah, just a great job over here. Nice light fixture up above as well. And I want to bring your attention to a key detail, which is that the wall color, the casing and the molding and the doors are actually all one color. Usually the casing and the baseboard are white and this is whatever color you would want it to be. But I think it, it, it looks really nice. Yeah, it, lo it looks dope. It looks awesome. So the builder thoughtfully placed this room, which is a home theater room in this corner because this is where you're going to have your movies turned up all the way. And this is just a great room to watch all your movies. You got built in speakers at the front. We got some custom cabinetry down below. And over here is where you would put your huge TV. There's no handles present, which makes it look very sleek. You just press it like that. It pops open. Same thing on this side, serves the purpose of a nice design and also you could put whatever you wanted in here, you just pop it open just like that. And as you can tell, the color of this room is a little bit different from what it was in the other rooms because they wanted that dramatic look, right? That's what you want in the home theater. So over here, no home theater is actually complete without your wet bar. And they have the same countertop that we saw in the powder room. I love this countertop, it's amazing. Like there's so much going on in it. Once again, no handles, you just pop open your cabinets like that. Looks amazing. All right, so now let's go check out the living room. Follow me. So, Welcome to your living room. There's so much going on in this area. Amazing furniture, amazing staging. And on the back wall over here, instead of doing uh, floating shelves and cabinet retrieve, they've left it open, which allows so much light to come into this area. It makes it feel nice and big and open. Over here, we got tiles. I think they're porcelain tiles and they're huge slabs. That's probably like four by eight or something like that. Probably even bigger. Uh, really, really hard to install. They've done an excellent job. And on the back wall, we got some light sconces. They're gold. And uh, we got some built-in speakers right here. I like this wood veneer that they've been using in, throughout the entire house. The design on this side and on this side as well. Makes it look really nice. 
And down below, we got some LED lighting right below these uh, cabinets right here. You can store your receivers or whatever you would want down there. And then at the center of the room, we got this gigantic light fixture hanging from the ceiling. And up above that, we got so much molding going on. We got drop ceilings, puck lights, LED lighting, just amazing job over here. So down this way, we actually have an exit and entrance into this area. And this takes you to your backyard. And I like that they've used mini blind doors. I like whenever a builder uses that, you just kind of do that and it opens it up and yeah. Okay, so over here we got a nice table right here, which is your nook. And over here we got the security system. That's a freaking huge screen for your secu uh, security system right there, right? We got like nine, nine cameras all around the house. Once again, the same custom cabinetry that we're seeing all over the house. And this is your fridge right here, neatly concealed in the same material. Whenever a builder does that, you know that they've spent a lot of money because usually this would be like stainless steel or something like that. So on this side, we have the Miele fridge and freezer. That's awesome. Okay, so over here we got the convection oven and a wall oven right here. And down this way, we got some beautiful countertop right here. We got no handles present once again, which makes it look very sleek and modern. And down this way, we got a hood fan, electric cooktop right here, an amazing light fixture right here as well. So normally we would see this on top of like a dining room or something like that. But uh, I think they did an excellent job by using this here. Usually what we see is individual light fixtures. But uh, yeah, they did an excellent job with this. And there's no drywall anywhere. They've used that same countertop everywhere, even here and above the door as well. We got a nice pocket door which separates the second kitchen from the main kitchen over here. And on this side, we have a nice big Blanco sink and a casement window which faces your backyard over there. All right, so let's check out the second uh, kitchen which is right here. Once again, a massive sink right here. We got some nice uh, custom cabinetry with the handles right here. And on the back, we got some countertop, or sorry, the same material that they used for the counter over here. And uh, a little bit of a different color than we saw in the uh, first kitchen. So this is like a nice little grayish tone. And once again, no handles present. Over here, we got a six burner gas uh, cooktop. That's nice. And over here we have a little bit of a smaller fridge than what we saw in the main kitchen, but uh, that's perfect. I think they did an excellent job in both of these kitchens. So now let's go check out the master bedrooms and the other bedrooms on the top floor. Follow me. So I am once again walking on engineered hardwood and over here I like that they've illuminated the steps with these lights right here. And on both sides of the stairs, we got some glass railing with stainless steel railings, handrails. And over here, I wanna bring your attention to this right here. Instead of using baseboard, they've used a very similar material to the hardwood as the baseboard. And then a nice big window over here. So I always like when you can see down into the entrance because the entrance is a double heighted. And then on this side as well, you can see down into your living area. So. This is how a drop is made right here. This is a drop ceiling. And you wouldn't be able to see this from down below. Uh, so basically you have a two by six and then a two by four, which is pulled away from it, which just gives you that illusion that it's a floating ceiling. I think that's really cool. So this bridge connects these two areas together. This whole house is um, controlled with the nest system. And so nice big hallway up here. Let's go check out the three bedrooms before we check out the master. So down this way, we have a great sized room. And over here, each one of these rooms has its own closet and washroom as well. Excellent choice of all of the tiles that they've used in this room. And over here, we got the vanity, we got the toilet. And then over here, we got the shower. This is a pretty big shower. They've used matte tiles on the wall and hexagon tiles on the floor and a nice uh, shower sill right here. We got a shower head right there as well. Awesome job in that washroom. So follow me into the other bedrooms. So once again, another bedroom right here and another one in here. So like I said before, all of the bedrooms have their own closet and their own washroom as well. Each one of these uh, bedrooms has a little bit of a design on the ceiling, 
like they've wrapped this room with the uh, baseboard on top. And over here, nice transition between your hardwood and the tiles. You got a vanity, toilet, and a shower right here. I like the choice of the tile in this room as well. And uh, frameless glass door right here. I think they did an awesome job here as well. Nice natural light in there. Yeah, for sure. Ton of light coming in through that window. They've used the windows really well. Place them in areas where it allows a lot of light to come into all of the areas. And actually, we also have a skylight right up above, which brings a ton of light into this area. All right, so down here, beyond these double doors, is your master bedroom. So check out this master bedroom. There's so many things that are going on right here. So on the back wall, look at the design, right? That's amazing. They've used this amazing uh, wall, I, I, this fabric to finish off the back side over here. We got that wood, um, custom wood that they had from downstairs in the kitchen as well. Nice design all around. Look how many different ways you can light up this room. You got a light fixture in the middle. You got pot lights up above. You got two light sconces on the back wall over here. We got some lamps. You can enjoy this room in so many different ways, right? And up above, uh, up above we have, the level of design is amazing. You got a drop ceiling, and then look at the design as well. Look, that's amazing. Yeah, so just so many ways to enjoy this room. You can turn on the lights, you can have the LED light on, you can have just a light fixture on, and I'm sure the, the room would look amazing in all the different ways that you would light it up. So in the master washroom, once again, you could tell the level of de design is amazing. So over here we have the reveal. This is usually only an inch thick, right? They, they went that extra step and what they did is they used the same material. They have about four inches and what they did is they glued it on in a 90 degree angle, which costs a lot more in terms of material and labor. It's pretty tough to do and they did, that, they did an amazing job. So the same material is used on the back wall below the mirror and above the mirror as well. We have that same wood that we saw throughout the entire home and the mirror is pulled away from the wall as well. We got his and her uh, vanities. We got the toilet right here. There's no drywall in this entire room. It's all wrapped in that porcelain tile. So over here we have a freestanding soaker tub. So just to talk about uh, price of these things, these range from about $1,500 to $3,000. And the faucet, which is coming out of the floor, is also about 1500 bucks to about 2500 bucks. So you know they spent a lot of money in this room. Like, that's not cheap. It costs almost as much as a tub. So down this way, we got a good size shower. Amazing choice of the tile and on the ground as well. This is a good size shower. We got a nice big rain shower head up above. And one of the keys that builders use is this hand shower. You need this if you want to clean the shower. It's very important to have. I think that they did an amazing job in this room. And now let's go check out the closet in the master bedroom, which is down this way. So this is the closet. Zach, I'll let you go right into there. Good size closet. You got the same custom wood that we saw in the entire home. I think that they did an awesome job in this master bedroom. All right, so that wraps up the tour for the home. Let's go meet at the front of the property. What an amazing home. The level of design and build was top notch. Thank you once again to Angela and Ken of New Stream Realty. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. We got some really cool episodes coming up in the future. Hit the like button and make sure you leave a comment. Tell us what you liked most about this amazing home and see you in the next episode.